Hi there and welcome back to the Headbangers Ball for the continuation of our Sepultura Chaos campaign. Following the recording of Chaos AD in Wales, the Brazilian metalers returned to the valleys to launch the album in memorable style. We were there to catch the action at Cafili Castle, where the band turned down the volume with a live performance of their Brazilian-influenced instrumental track, Keovas. My favorite album ever that we ever did, you know, and uh, it was done faster than Arise, but the final result, it, it, I think, is more satisfying and it's, it's more together, it's more different. This is the first uh, heavy metal Brazilian heavy metal group to to achieve some uh, success abroad. And this is quite nice. If we had before Bossa Nova, Samba, Lambada. But this is the really first rock group. When they decided to, to have the idea to, to do this party, and we thought about to, to bring something about Brazil, and I was like, this guy has to be over here, or it's not gonna happen. Because you know? we, we have at least to be something about Brazil. It's not just the whale thing, and uh, it's not the England thing, and not the red label and stuff. We gotta have some Brazilian culture get going on. We gotta show more about Brazil, just let the people know about a little bit more about about Brazil. I can't wait, man. I can't wait to start playing again because Sepultura is live band, you know. All this thing is just because of live, you know. That's our concern to record the album was really live stuff. And, and I can't wait to go on, on, on stage and improve all the song we record and really give more and with the crowd together and really improve a lot of the song and really put the song live in the people's hearts and stuff, you know. So. We're looking forward to start playing really soon. Chaos AD is unleashed to the world on the 11th of October, but for tonight, the ball proudly presents the European premiere of the first single, Territory. The video was filmed on location in Israel just prior to the signing of the historic peace accord between the PLO and the Israeli government. I can't say I really enjoyed doing it. It was really hard, you know, it was very hot. It was just two days, wake up four in the morning, and we shoot you 10 at night. Very hard work, but it was cool. It's like no pain, no gain, you know. I, I'm, I saw it for the first time in the party today, and I like it, you know. I think it, it came out pretty cool. It's not, it's not a better place than there to do a video. And I think we have a lot of balls to go there and shoot a video. When, when I mention that to people, everybody goes like, you going to Israel? You crazy, they're gonna kill you. And it's not like that, you know, when they're, you know, play our music, did our video. The people really friendly to us there. And I think it, it, it says it all in the video, you know. It was incredible. It was, um, we made a point to go there and to find the most striking locations to place the band into. And, you know, shoot them at very odd different angles just to bring about a very heavy mood and feeling. Yeah, it was great. You know, it was like, we always had an idea of doing the video in a different place and trying out different you know ideas on it so when we did that it was great because we had a chance to work with Paul Ratchman which 
gave us a lot of like support and what we want, you know, didn't try to change our ideas, just add more to our stuff. So it was great, you know. I really enjoy it being there too.